What's up guys, it's Rasim from RossMurrayTech.com and today we're going to benchmark four different Raspberry Pis. Now I have the Raspberry Pis behind me, I have the original Raspberry Pi, I have the Raspberry Pi B+, the Raspberry Pi 2, and the brand new Raspberry Pi 3 and we're going to benchmark all four to see how they perform. And we're going to use a web uh, browser for the benchmarking. It's a Java based benchmark and it's going to give us a score, the higher the score the better the performance. So. Without further ado, let's get started with the benchmark. All right guys, so these are the Raspberry Pis we're gonna be benchmarking. On the left here, this is the Raspberry Pi, the original one. As you can see, it's using a standard SD card, not the micro SD card. Over here, this is uh, the next level up. This is the Raspberry Pi B+. This is the Raspberry Pi 2. And this is the brand new Raspberry Pi 3 over here. I have the original cases for these three. I don't have the original case for this. Maybe I can find one online. I'll pick one up. We're gonna benchmark all four of these to see what score we're gonna get. All right guys, so let's connect them and let's get started. All right guys, so I wanna give you a better idea of how this benchmark is gonna be uh, set. I have here three of the Raspberry Pis, Raspberry Pi B+, I have the Raspberry Pi 2 and the Raspberry Pi 3. And over here I have the first one I'm gonna test, the original Raspberry Pi. It's connected. And everything is uh, running to this monitor here. I have a mouse, I have a keyboard, and uh, we're gonna run the benchmark and watch to see what score we get. And we're gonna test all three. I'm gonna make a note of the scores for all three. I'm gonna leave links to everything in the description if you guys are interested. So let's test them all out. All right guys, so now we got the original Raspberry Pi hooked up, right? We navigated to this URL and the benchmark we're using is called Sun Spider version 102. It's a JavaScript benchmark, a web browser benchmark. And uh, we're gonna start right now. Links will be in the description. I'm gonna click on start now and it should uh, start and like warm up. It's warming up and then it's gonna count down. Pretty much done and on top of here they give you a direct link to your own results here and uh, you could bookmark it I'm gonna save it I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this in the description so you guys can see it with detail the results of the benchmark for the, the original Raspberry Pi using Sun Spider benchmark now we're gonna do the same thing with the other three but down here it says it, it the total was 19,284 0.1 milliseconds so uh, that's pretty slow but it is the original Raspberry Pi so let's see what the Raspberry Pi B plus 2 and Raspberry Pi 3 score all right guys so now we have the Raspberry Pi B plus connected and we're gonna run the same benchmark so let's get started I'm gonna click on start now and it should start the benchmark in a second it's warming up and it's gonna count down until the benchmark is over Alright guys, so the benchmark is complete and on top here they give me the URL so I can come back and uh, check out this, this results right here and I'll leave a link to this results in the description. But on the bottom here it says uh, total results, it's uh, 18,831 milliseconds, that's eight. That's 18831.1 milliseconds. So it's, it did it a lot faster than the original Raspberry Pi and it should because it's a newer model. Now we're gonna do the Raspberry Pi 2. All right guys, so now we're gonna test the Raspberry Pi 2. Again, we're using Sun Spider 1.0.2. It's a JavaScript benchmark, so we're gonna hit start now. It's warming up and it's gonna count down and it should tell us the results. All right guys, so the benchmark is complete and this one was pretty fast. It should be fast because compared to the last one we tested, which was the B+, the Raspberry Pi 2 has four cores. It's a quad core processor, so it should be a lot faster. And it has a gigabyte of RAM, so it should be a lot faster. 
And again, I'm gonna copy this URL to this results that we did right now. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. But it says right here, total, it was 4,672.6 milliseconds, way faster than the original Raspberry Pi and the B Plus. So all this stuff I'm gonna leave in the description and now we're finally gonna test the Raspberry Pi 3. All right guys, so now we're gonna test out the Raspberry Pi 3. I'm gonna hit start now here and it's starting. And it says here total 2,891.1 milliseconds blew away the Raspberry Pi 2. And it should, it's, it's a newer model Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi 2 I think has, it does have four cores and one gigabyte of RAM, but and the Raspberry Pi 3 has a 1.2 gigahertz processor. Four cores, 1.2 gigahertz, so it's way faster than the Raspberry Pi 2. All right guys, so this is a chart we're gonna use to recap the scores. On the top here, we have the original Raspberry Pi, which is the green one. Underneath it is the Raspberry Pi B plus in orange. Underneath that is the Raspberry Pi 2 in yellow. And finally, the Raspberry Pi 3 in blue. Now this uh, chart reflects how fast the benchmark took in milliseconds. So the smaller the score, or smaller the number, the faster the Raspberry Pi, basically. So on top here, the Ras Raspberry Pi, the original one, took 19,284.1 milliseconds to complete the benchmark. It's the slowest one. Followed by the Raspberry Pi B+, Plus, which took not that much difference, uh, 18,831.1 uh, score. Basically, that's how many milliseconds it took for the, for the benchmark to complete. Now, the Raspberry Pi 2, it's a dramatic, a dramatic change here. Now, Raspberry Pi 2 took 4,672.6 milliseconds to complete the benchmark. Amazing. It's like maybe five, six times faster. Now, uh, the final one, the Raspberry Pi 3 in blue, took 2,891.1 seconds to complete. Basically, the double the Raspberry Pi 2 and like 20 times faster than the original. Now I'm gonna leave a link to all these scores in the description if you are interested. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you disliked it, dislike the video. Amerson from AmersonTech.com and thank you for watching. <laughs>